What's going on y'all, it's Dewan Hoddles. Today is Tuesday, it's the day after Labor Day. So now everybody's back at work and the traffic is reflecting that. So I'm just getting back out of the office and I'm gonna go home and enjoy a nice nutritious meal. I hope you guys are spending your time wisely, are trying your best to really accumulate as much, um, tr trying to get as much energy in exchange for your energy as possible that you're able to convert into the hardest, scarcest asset, which is Bitcoin. So if you're doing that, do it responsibly though. Do it with a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized exchange such as hodlhodl.com. You'll find that link in the description. All you need is a email address and a password. Also, when you get that Bitcoin, stack those sets, and you're feeling good, you wanna protect it and put it into a cold storage wallet. And in the coinkite.com link down below, you'll find the cold car wallet. It is open sourced, which is preferred, and you're able to only store Bitcoin on that wallet. Check out the coinkite.com store for that cold card wallet for your Bitcoin needs. Let's get it. I want to talk about um, I want to talk about an obvious trade. I think there's so many people that's piled up on one side of the trade right now and it's really the people that you don't want to be on the same trade with. I consider this the same folks that you didn't want to follow politically in the past, what, just three years ago, um, as we're seeing how that has turned out for here in the U.S. particularly, how that's turned out for people. Uh, it's just been a shit show. And you don't want to be on the one side of uh, people when it comes to any type of medical uh, health emergencies, okay? We've seen how that's, that's turned into a shit show. Um, people are injured, excess deaths around the world because uh, everybody piled up on one side of that train. While there wasn't very many people that went against it, and they turned out, in my opinion, to be uh, just chilling. Um, also, any other lifestyle uh, choices that a lot of people just seem to gravitate towards. Uh, veganism, you know, you find in studies on that that that's just not the most nutritious thing. But you know, it, I'm not I'm not here to judge. Uh, I don't I'm not a vegan, so that's just not my thing. But just different things out there. Uh, some people have read the economy wrong you know they didn't play the inflation game most people didn't most people were just continuing to to tag on debt to continue to save in fiat or to just continue to just spend while if you were in a saving mindset and when you're in a saving mindset you were looking to save in things that can actually hold the value of your currency or your energy that preserves it then you were on the right side most people weren't doing it. And so what I'm trying to describe is that that you can safely um, you can safely put yourself in a better position just by kind of look I wouldn't say just do exactly what the majority uh, do exactly the opposite of what the majority does. I would just essentially say um, you know be skeptical of what the majority does and question it because honestly the majority isn't that bright the majority just isn't the majority isn't well learned they're, they're not well researched and they just don't have critical thinking skills for the most and I, I hate to make these type of videos but it's the truth most of them are anti-science anti-intellectualism anti and we're showing that in more ways than one again in the past few years and you're seeing that play out again and I think it's going to end up which it already has already played out to be but it's going to further be a, fil a filtration mechanism for Darwinism it's going to it's just another continuation of Darwinism and so even in the crypto space right you have a crypto asset I think in my opinion you have the only crypto asset but you have other altcoins which is under the guise of a free market, but they're all ploys. They're all giving you tokens in exchange for your Bitcoin, which a lot of them are keeping Bitcoin. They have a nice stack of Bitcoin, um, but they are selling you their product um, that has a lesser value. 
and not just price value, but a lesser value, a lesser use case, a lesser market, all, all the above. So when you put these things together, you're starting to realize that the majority is going towards, they go towards XRP, they go towards Cardano's, they go towards Maddox and all of these little coins because uh, from what I understand, there's not much gains to be had with Bitcoin. And this is a lack of understanding of the market, of the global financial market, of the use case in the industry that Bitcoin is created to solve. And so this is what you are finding is that, again, when people go pile up on one side of a trade, you go the opposite. That's how you win. That's how wealth is created. You buy when people when when markets are down, any market, when it's down bad, nobody wants to be around it. Nobody talks about it. They forget it and they go on about their lives and they have a good time and they party. If if. For those who stick around, they stud. They've done the. They've done the dark work. They've done the mid. They burned the midnight oil to study the asset, to study the market, and they, and they, and that, and that time that they put in brings them to the understanding that hey, you know what, seventy percent, eighty percent fall in something is the the opportunity of a lifetime. Then, you know, those are the folks who are going to win. That's where the wealth is created. Most people are not going to think that way. Now, there's a misapplication of that idea. And again, it could be misapplied to just shit assets or shit. Um, if you want to call them assets, shit uh, things, right? Shit coins or, you know, sh shitty investments that aren't going anywhere. People oftentimes make the wrong decision because they're misapplying it because of their bias, right? Their own biases. And they're not looking at this game for what it is. They're not looking at, um, they're, just not, they're just not doing the research. And, and at the end of the day, like I said, and that's the majority of the people, if you just do what the majority isn't doing, you will fucking, sorry, man. I'm, I'm, but it's just so true, you will win. The majority doesn't, I'm, I've heard uh, also, and maybe a side note a bit, but still a relation. I heard at someone said on a Twitter post, and people say what they want on Twitter, but hey, it makes sense to me. It's like after the age of 30, most people will never sprint, do a full hard sprint again in their life after 30. Do sprinting is phenomenal. It's probably the most fun I've had. You know, I don't do long distance jogging. I do a burst sprint. And it'll get all the fast twitch muscles. It exerts everything, and it and it and it, it just feels amazing. And it's more realistic of how us as early humans, when we were more healthy, how we actually the things that we actually did. We didn't run long distances just to see how how much we can get our heart to work. Anyways, that's an offshoot. But nonetheless, just do what people aren't doing and. I think you'll be better off. And I know I can say this honestly because it's, it's worked for me. I've, I've, I've seen so many people crash out just by kind of allowing, going for that whole mass appeal thing. Anyways, that's my take, y'all. I hope you're having a beautiful Tuesday. And I um, hope you enjoy whatever it is you eat today. I hope it nourishes you and you really enjoy it wherever you go today. I hope it's... Um, love waiting for you to embrace you and um, yeah till next time I'm out